Yep, it's starting. All right, welcome everybody to the Village of Washingtonville Planning Board work session meeting. Today is Tuesday, November 9th. We'll call this meeting to order at 7.09. Let's all rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Just a reminder to the public, this is a work session. We do not have public comments at the work session. Feel free to email me at selinaroper.planningboard at gmail.com or attend our regular meetings. Um, just to clarify some confusion with the website, it says if needed on our calendar. However, it did not say canceled. So this meeting has always been scheduled. We will change that in the future to avoid confusion. Um, so. Hopefully that's not an issue moving forward. Uh, we have one item on the agenda. It is The applicant is 61 East Main Street Associate LLC. 61 East Main Street application for site plan and lot line removal. Section block and lots 114-1-3.22 and 113-2-31. OR zoning district. Proposed use, demolition of existing multifamily dwelling, and construction of two 7,000 square foot two-story apartment buildings with 14 apartments and 28 bedrooms total for each along with parking facilities. So as a reminder, I did recuse myself from this um, application. So we have three board members here that make quorum. If the applicant wants to come forward and give a brief recap, we do have a new member here and then proceed as... Good evening, everyone. My name is Michael Morganti. I am the uh, project engineer for this application. It's before the board. Um, so uh, for those board members who were uh, part of the board last time we were here, if you recall, we had um, uh, discussed with the board going to the uh, Zoning Board of Appeals for um, an interpretation or a judgment on uh, whether or not one or two buildings was permitted on the uh, subject parcel. And the ZBA did, in fact, rule that uh, two separate structures or buildings are permitted on this parcel. So as a result of um, that um, information that they provided to us, we went back and decided to put together some prel uh, preliminary plans for the board to take a look at to uh, um, continue our discussion with the direction of the project. So. What we did in this last set of site plans that you see here before you was we showed essentially some water and sewer connections. We showed a stormwater management system design in the back of the property. Um, we also uh, put together some additional turning diagrams, made some modifications to how the traffic and fire trucks will circulate inside the site. Um, put together some construction details uh, so that your uh, planning board consultants could review them also and offer their comments. I did review Mr. Petrosini's uh, comment letter. Um, there's a lot of housekeeping items that are on there, nothing of any major concern to me that would uh, either change significantly the design that's before the board um, or uh, warrant us to go back to the ZBA for anything. Uh, we also did prepare some architectural elevation views and plans for the board's uh, review. Um, we also prepared a rendering of the landscaping plan. Um, it's our goal tonight to continue the discussion with the board. Um, as you're well aware, the second time we go back to the ZBA will be for pretty much a change of use. Um, and so that's a pretty significant uh, variance that we'd be seeking from the ZBA. And we would certainly need this board's endorsement to um, accomplish anything of that sort if we go back to the ZBA. So that kind of summarizes uh, where we were, uh, where we are now. Um, and so we will continue that discussion with the board tonight. Um, and we're here to hear any comments and concerns you have, and we'll do our best to address them. Um, it's, you know, one, of my, one of my things is uh, traffic. You know, going from a four-bedroom home that was, I believe, a doctor's office uh, with parking out, out, kind of out front, uh, and now we're going to, you know, let's you know, a lot more parking spaces, uh, et cetera. 
Has there been any studies or any information on the park? I'm glad you brought that up. I left that out of my initial presentation. So the, the goal tonight was to come here with these preliminary plans, make sure that what I have shown engineering the plan will in fact work, that we didn't need to reduce anything, move anything, or change anything. The next step in the process, we will prepare a traffic impact study. Um, we will also be required to obtain a uh, highway work permit from the DOT for the entrance. I wouldn't be surprised if they ask us for a traffic study also as a result of what's going on here. So we will provide that um, at our next uh, submittal to this board. Second question is we're going from a four bedroom home to, uh, again, you know, 28 units, uh, water and sewer uh, capacity uh, within the village. Is there any? that needs to be done there or looked at there? It's my understanding that there's adequate capacity. I would defer to the planning board and village engineer if there's uh, any issues as it relates to water or sewer capacity, no, but I'm not aware. Okay. Um, those are my two questions for right now, so thank you. Thank you. Spent a lot of time on that. We also prepared um, a nice rendering, right, for the. Um, uh, I've not seen, seen that. Uh, so well, that. I can certainly get to it right now. Yeah, I like the uh, lining of the trees and the property barrier to not have this village. The neighbors. So this is that little park here in the front that you see here. Yes, that was a kind of question because it's currently parking there so you're going to eliminate that and just have this be a green space in the front? Yeah, no, I think what we're talking about is like this would be like village on a pocket park or something like that. Um, so we'll work with the village on uh, how it's required to establish that, but um, that's, what the, uh, that's what we've been talking about since the park. The area in the front? The area right in the front. So if you look at the site plan, the, air, the land right alongside or right along the frontage of, uh, of 94 here. So we're proposing some nice landscape areas here, park benches and whatnot. And this is kind of a rendering of what it will look like. Would that area might be for residents or for just general use? I think we could probably make it for general use. Um, I'm sure the residents themselves would probably use it also. It's something we can talk about with the village, okay. see how they want to have that used also. Noticed on what in front there was a piece of property um, alongside the one that's 20 feet wide or 26 feet wide. You guys mind if I stand up for a moment? No, no, no. I guess the other one is the other one. I guess this is the other one. Parcel next to us. The 114-1-1. One it's not ours. So, 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 so there's nothing, nothing's happening with that at all. It's not ours. Okay. And I guess that wasn't one point supposed to be some sort of access to this. I guess, but that might have been. However, this entire back park is pretty much in a flood zone. Right? <laughs> yeah. So, <it's, laughs> so I'm not sure we get in there. I thought he was talking about that. Are these going to be market rate units? Um, I believe, I'm not 100% sure. I mean, I, it's not going to be affordable housing. Um, that's my understanding. Um, it might be more of a workforce housing kind of. Um, uh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and will there be a homeowners association? Um, there, there will be some common areas here, so to speak. So most likely, they would like to take a look at that. I just so we can clarify. Sure. This is to be a rental, not a condominium. Okay. So there wouldn't be a homeowners oh, yes, right. association. Oh, so the not landlord would be charged with maintaining the common areas. Oh, so these are rentals, not for sale. That's right. Okay. I was under the impression they were for sale. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, I must have misunderstood the question. I apologize. For my question. Sure. For the for the parts, you were saying that you would give it for general use. So are you interested in dedicating it as parkland, meaning that you're going to give an easement for public use to the village, or have you thought about the method of making it available access to the public? I, we, we haven't gotten any input 
from the town, uh, from the village, sure. as to their preferences. Okay. But if they had a preference, and that preference was to have some of this area opened up to uh, 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 the use of the general public, we'd probably do it by a declaration. Okay. That's something we'll have to look into. I do know the app is flexible, though, and we work with the village. Okay. I was just interested if there was discussion on it or if you had a preference. If we had a preference, I wouldn't officially open it to the public use, but it may be do something like Rockefeller Center where you let people come in, but once a year you don't let anybody come in. Okay. So that it would be, uh, because we're most worried about the residents of the, of the, um, of the, the, of the rentals. Mm -hmm. right? We want to, we would want always to have the ability to protect them uh, uh, in a fashion that uh, a private landowner can protect people where you can't protect them if it becomes the public domain. Right, my concern would be there, obviously, who's, who's taking care of the insurance that's covering anything that's, that's entered. We, our, our, yeah. our client would still own the property, and they would have to carry the insurance. Yeah. Okay. I think that's the way it would have to work. Mike, can I sit here? Because absolutely, I'm pretty deaf when I left my hearing aid home, so no. I'm really struggling. <laughs> Do you know what what property management company is going to be managing the buildings, or how's that? Yeah, we're. I don't think we're at that stage yet to even. Um, you know, this is just a preliminary set of plans, and it's only the first few times we've been to the planning board, so I don't know that any of that's been set in place yet. Do the owners own any other rental besides this, or is this their first? No, I'm not that I'm aware of in the village of Washington. So for the board's consideration, um, the main the main portion that we want to tee up so that it gets ready to go back to the ZBA is the fact that they're permitted 14 units. They're asking for double that. So in terms of design of that extra units, in terms of just the the what that looks like on paper, and in terms of a site plan, that's that's the portion of commentary that we're at right now. Well, just a little addition to that, they're entitled to 14 units plus 14,000 square foot of commercial. commercial. And they're looking to trade the commercial to get the extra 14 units. Right, it's a quid pro quo. Right. And our feeling is is, is that, that, that the residential is a preferable use mm -hmm. in this area. And uh, also that um, this mixed-use type of arrangement uh, isn't as attractive to either the commercial or the residences, and that this would be a better mix for the community if we had all residential. We also do think there'll be less of an environmental impact. There'll probably be less traffic that's generated mm -hmm. with an all residential use versus a commercial and resident and uh, residential use. Um, you know, there'll be um, and there's a, there's a large need for this, I think, in the community. Uh, we've alluded to before. Given the number of empty spots in Brotherhood, I think we could probably handle not having more commercial space. Correct. So I see you're going to have the underwater storm water chambers that release water in a timed fashion, and then where is this water going to? Is it going to drain out into the back lot, or is it, are you going to have a ditchment system? Or? Yeah, so what you see here is um, these are storm tech chambers or for lack of a better way of describing it, they're half cut plastic pipe that's underneath uh, the pavement. Um, water from uh, the parking lot, the roofs will drain into this. Uh, we did some soil testing out there. There's very, very sandy soil, so it has a really high absorption rate for um, any runoff, and it's uh, a good technology because it'll recharge the groundwater, uh, recharge the runoff back into the groundwater supply, which is always a good thing. So any of the larger storm events that don't get recharged back into the groundwater supply will overflow these pipes. These pipes actually discharge um, just a few feet over this property line, even though this is still our property. There's a riprap outlet here um, at the end of each pipe, and then ultimately these will, um, the runoff will drain back into the property. As um, already happens, I mean, water that runs off onto the site naturally finds its way into the creek. So the idea here is that the rate of runoff that we would have post-construction would be the same as it is pre-construction. So 
instead of the drawing of how that was followed. You know, how there's parking lots there to yep. have. So the idea here is that, um, so this has been designed in accordance with New York State DEC stormwater pollution prevention requirements, what we call a SWIP. And so there's a couple of components to the SWIP. One is being is water quality volume. So the water quality volume is associated with like the average storm, like the 90% storm, the storm that happens 90% of the time. Um, that'll actually um, be channeled into these units um, and will be essentially treated through the um, percolation through the soil. So you'll remove pollutants in that fashion from this uh, parking lot and any of uh, the impervious surface of the roofs. So, um, this will actually, I think, handle up to the one year storm, nothing's even discharged. Uh, and then the larger storm events, your 10 year and your 100 year, some of it will be regenerated, some of it will be stored and held and released at a controlled rate. Since these are rentals, are there any qualifications that the owner has to meet for the village or for the board to be able to own a rental property of this size? There is a new rental property local law, but that would be all done after the fact through the building department okay. for the rental registry in the village. I like the look. I think that the preparation is <coughs> excellent. Very informative. Thank you. Yeah, we took. We try to take our time and develop an architectural plan and a rendering that looks like it belongs in Washington. Mm -hmm. Mike, where would you like to go from here? Come back and answer the engineering issues and uh, get those resolved. Well. I, I, I mean, I, I or do think. Or you want to seek a sense from the board tonight? I, I would actually prefer at this point to potentially go back to the zoning board of appeals. Okay. Because um, I think, based on what I've seen from the engineer's comment letter, that I can address those and it won't really, I don't think, change the plans much. If any. I don't think there's anything in my comments that would substantially change the plan. There are a lot of other, uh, for the village, this is a large project. There are going to be a lot of other inputs. Um, I'd like to see you get off the emergency services sure. and get any comments from them. That's really the only place where you can hit a snag that might change the layout. The fire chief says, no, we can't do this. Better to know now than before he spends all his time finalizing, getting a variance. So I'd like to see him get his referrals to the other village offices, as well as to get secret kick started. He's going to need DOT. Let's get them off there. DOT can take a while. I was going to say my recommendation would be in order to get those comments started is to declare our intent to be with the agency. Um, the ZBA is required, so it's going to be a coordinated review. Um, and the board can declare that tonight. I'll prepare the notice as I always do um, with the applicant involved. And then they'll be responsible for distributing that and hopefully getting comments back so we can meet um, one more time after that, hopefully some comments have been received, um, which may or may not impact design. And once we feel, once this board feels that there's a, a more finalized design and, of course, seeker kicked off, then a referral would be that, would be Regar at that stage. Re regarding the, the commercial slash uh, residential, who's the final say on that, the zoning board? You are. We are. Well, I'm um, sorry. It's, it's you, too broad. Yes. <laughs> we, we need both your blessings. Yes, right. Well, you're the, so you're the final as in you're the lead agency. Um, of course, you can at this point give your thoughts to the, you know, to the applicant as to the extent of what you think it looks like, what you think the impacts might be. Um, and the the board that decides whether or not they're going to be allowed to have the additional 14, 14 residential units versus commercial units is the ZBA. Is that, do you, would you agree with that? Yeah, I've, one of the things that we want to do is to, to just get to the point where we know, and certainly starting CEQA, addressing the, the, the traffic issues and, the, uh, and turnaround issues and things like that, safety issues, is good because we want to have a sense from the board that, that they're going to 
be willing to entertain this application when we come back to you if we're successful before the ZBA. And, and certainly if I was on the ZBA, I'd want to know that this is a project that, to, that you were looking at favorably, not without providing us with a guarantee, just to have a sense of what's going on. And so we can do that and we can get to that point to where everybody feels comfortable with the goals of the ZBA. The only thing I want to just add to that is, is, is um, the variance we're going to be seeking isn't a use variance, it's an area variance because we're, we're just changing the count, not the character. So. Correct. This is a multiple dwelling, which is a permitted use under the OR district. So we're just talking about number of units. Okay. So, is it a time to make a motion to seek lead agency status? Yeah, it's a fair intent to be lead agency and authorize me to distribute a uh, notice. Do you make the motion? I was going to say. Okay. I have to make a motion that we be declared lead agency. Anybody else? I'll second the motion. Thank okay. you. Okay. Take a vote. Rich? Yeah. Maria? Aye. 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 And I am Three ayes. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Stephanie. Um, with respect to seeking information from other agencies, I don't see any reason not to do that. It is a big project. We need to get a lot of pants on deck to help and make sure we're going. So, would the board? I mean, would do, if we submit to the ambulance by way of giving them our notice, do you think that would be prompt enough, or should the board specifically ask the applicants to reach out to them with your experience with them? I have one. Why don't you just notice them, and Mike, you can reach out to them. Give me the book. <laughs> I, I think Mike handling it with a phone call rather than him coming in with 50 sets of these plans. Okay. You call Chris and ask him if he wants to look at it for order or if he just wants to give you an answer. Okay. I can do that. Yeah. Well, at what point does the architectural review board become involved in this? That, it would be later. Okay. It would be once, once, you're, once we're more into Secra. Any kind of area variance, the variance needed? The area variance would be for the 14 dwelling units in okay, place so of the in place of the commercial. Okay. We, we believe we meet all the other setbacks. Yeah, mm -hmm. I took a look at the bulk requirements and I'm sure the engineer did also. Yeah, I had a couple of comments, but nothing I saw that didn't work. I think points of clarification on the site plans. Yeah, I read that. We take no exception to I know you have John's notes, so I'll go through that. There's no point in us re-reviewing any of that. Do um, you have any question, other questions for us? No, I mean, it seems though as the board so far likes the plan they see before them. I'm, I'm not seeing any any uh, major obstacles. Uh, my big thing, to be honest with you, is going to be the emergency services and the, the, the um, traffic. Sure. Um, I think everything else is probably going to be fine with the water and the sewer way. You want to just make sure we check that, okay. uh, but to me the traffic is probably you know, whatever that says, sure. and there may be a work around for that. And one of the reasons I asked for that about the number of additional pieces of property is if that had to be, I didn't know it wasn't yours, but if it was yours, that could be another egress. Um, but if it's not yours, we don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything you would like to see from the applicant at this time in addition to what was submitted? There's an architectural review board, correct? There is. It's the village board. It's the village board. Okay. So Brian and I can discuss when I when when he feels when we feel it's proper. I think procedurally, but I think it's too early for referral there. Not quite yet. You know, yeah. Let's get a little bit further. Yeah. Because if it turns into commercial downstairs, you're going to completely change the look of the outside. Yep. Agreed. I just was, I forgot if it was this board if it was the It's usually, yeah, this, in the village, it's, um, the hat sits on the village board of trustees. And no further questions from anybody on the board? Any applicants, any further input questions? Engineer, lawyer, good. good? Oh, the only thing is this, another just small piece of housekeeping. It lists, um, the two buildings note on the zoning, um, Variance required, but that's obviously not required anymore. So, right, yeah. just for clarification. I'll that, yeah. yeah. Thank you. So, motion to adjourn. Second the motion. We adjourn. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you very much. I really appreciate your time. <laughs>